Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and I upload twice a week. Today we are finally tackling this dining room. It has looked like this for a while. My husband got sick with the flu and I had already had all this stuff just waiting in the dining room to decorate but I had to attend solely to mom life on my own to four kids but thank god he's better now and I can finally decorate and get our dining room back in order. So the first thing we're doing is we are starting just with the mantle here which is one of my favorite spots to decorate. I pretty much do the same thing every year because if it's not broke, why fix it? This is a classic and beautiful like layered approach to the mantle. It's not rocket science. I'm just doing all of our stockings to one side. Every time I have had a child, I get them a stocking from Pottery Barn. We use the same stockings year after year because that's how I grew up and nostalgia for me is really important. I know a lot of people get new stockings every year, but for us, this is just what we love. And even the dogs have their own little stockings as well. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. If you missed my last video, I decorated the kitchen in a very, I was going for like the 90s nostalgic Christmas vibe. And this is my favorite the kitchen has ever turned out. So be sure to check that out. But this is just the same garland that I use in the kitchen. Um, it's a cedar garden from Kirkland's and I've had it for years. It holds up great. And to me, it looks very like real and look natural. Um, so I'm layering these beads. You'll see a little bit later, I layer some bells as well. Um, but I just love how this all comes out looking together. And also towards the end of the video, I purchased some twinkle lights to add to this as well. I've also had these reindeer for years. I think I got it at Home Goods, but I put up a short of how to make a bow. It's the literal easiest way ever. I suck at making bows and they come out perfect every time. So I went ahead and did that and made some fresh bows for the reindeer as well. But that's just on my shorts. It's like a 20 or 30 second video. And I promise you, you cannot mess up this bow. It is so easy. Moving on to our stairs, same uh, cedar garland that I had. I swear I bought out Kirkland's when they had this, but you know, when you're investing in Christmas decor, things like this is not something that I'm going to change every year. Same with the Pottery Barn stockings. They're a little bit more expensive. I feel like they're in the $30 range, but we have them year after year and they're custom with their names on them and I just love it. So I also got this ribbon from Michaels. It's the same ribbon that I used in the kitchen. I'm tying my garland on with that. And then we're going to make some bows and later on in the video you will see that i add light to this as well and you can see in the background that chris is fluffing out i think this was our first christmas tree we ever bought together um, but we were putting it in the dining room i love a real tree don't get me wrong that's what i grew up with like my mom's christmas trees are my favorite they're always like so they're real so they smell amazing and they're fat and fluffy with tinsel and colored lights and bubble lights and all kinds of ornaments and that is my favorite you will see later in this video that we decorate the Christmas tree and I let my kids decorate the Christmas tree however they want and that's the kind of crazy Christmas tree that I like. The one in the dining room I usually do to whatever theme we have and the kids undecorate it and redecorate it all the time which again I'm fine with that's why I buy plastic balls and I don't buy expensive glass ones um, but to me the classic like family Christmas tree we have like some of Chris's first Christmas ornaments on there some of my first Christmas ornaments on our tree things that the kids have made for us in the past it's just I don't know that's what I love about Christmas is the feeling and just like the classic colors and the nostalgia not so much everything looking perfect again same greenery over here 
and bows. I feel like when you do a lot of the same stuff, for example, like the same greenery and the same type of bows, it really helps tie the whole house together, especially because our house is open concept, so it kind of just helps everything flow nicely together. Who remembers this Christmas tree? I made this a couple years ago when I saw the same one that I really liked at Michael's. It was about $100, so I went ahead and made my own using Dollar Tree products and one of the styrofoam trees from Michael's, and I still use this decoration every year, and I just love it. It's so pretty and classic. And then the same with these candles and candle holders. I've had these for a long time as well from Amazon. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with this entryway table and you can see I redecorate it about 40 times moving things away um, in different directions and just trying new things but I think this is how I like it the most. Oh. Heading back into the living room because I found that the Christmas tray that I wanted to put out I got it this year from Zazzle when they were having their big sale and I love it it's perfect and anything monogrammed and custom I really love. We are headed into part one of the dining room because part two I do the following day in this video. Uh, but just wiping everything down. I don't know whose idea it was to get a black piece of furniture because the dust shows so quickly. Um, but I, I talk about this for like years now, but we really want to redo the dining room, get new dining room furniture, paint, do some different things on the wall, like some type of molding. But it's just been really low on the priority list lately. Um, but I'm really liking how this all came together. I got things from like Michael's when they were having a sale, things from Home Goods, um, not Home Goods, TJ Maxx, same thing basically, right? Uh, and the like custom cups and napkins were also from Zazzle during their sale. This cute little pink nutcracker was from Walmart. And then this little ball here, um, it's like a canister, was from Target Dollar Spot. And then I'm just adding a ribbon. I'm going to change that out to a bow as well, as you can see here. These are all from last year Target Target Dollar Spot. Um, I was gonna do our nativity scene up here, but I decided to put that on the windowsill, so I didn't show that in my last video, but I'm sure you'll see it in my future videos. It's in the um, kitchen on the windowsill where we could see it more, and I really love it. It was just a classic nativity scene from Target years ago, but I love how this came out. It's like a little, you know, like a little town, a little Christmas town. I definitely feel like I should add some twinkle lights to it. Dollar Tree has the best twinkle lights. I just need to get there. And then this little um, ribbon wreath holder is from Michael's this year. So sadly, I think we're gonna be selling this table, which is like one of my favorite pieces of furniture that we've ever bought because I love that it fits our entire family and that it's a round table. I just feel like the round table feels so much more intimate for our family to have dinners together versus like a rectangular table. So I am looking for another round table, but this one just has so many grooves inside. There's like Play-Doh and paint stuck in it. 
and honestly the color is what kills me the most I would like a lighter color um, and we were gonna sand it and Chris just thinks that we're gonna ruin the table so he says he might as well like sell it and get a new one I don't know what do you think have you ever sanded a table like this before This table runner I found at TJ Maxx and it inspired the entire dining room decor. So this was the first piece of decor that I found and then everything new that I bought was, you know, based on the colors in this table runner. I don't know why I'm blanking on what these gold plates are called, but they sell them at the Dollar Tree. I had mine for years from my sister's baby shower and my niece is now... Um, six, five? She's now five, and um, yeah, I still have these, so they're very affordable and inexpensive. The pink plates I got for Easter um, on sale from Michaels, and then these bows are new from Amazon. Now that I know how to tie my bows, I'm like, I should have just made my own, but I saved myself some time and bought them from Amazon. <laughs> The bow candle holders and the pink and white trees are from TJ Maxx and then these cute little clear reindeer are from Dollar Tree. I love them so much. They just add like a nice little touch and kind of goes with everything. And then the candles that Ella's putting in are also from Michaels. I wanted to have the tree here but then I hate it how it looked so you'll see that I move it over to the other corner after this. This pink bow was hands down my favorite part of this dining room. I found it at Michael's and I was absolutely obsessed with it. I know a lot of people make their own. Um, I think this was $30 and then I had like the coupon. day two and I am decorating this Christmas tree with again like I said they're plastic balls they are all from Michaels this year if I can link them I will link them down below basically anything in this video that I can link I will down in the description box below I love these clear bows and they kind of match those clear reindeer from Dollar Tree but I got these from TJ Maxx and I only got one container um, but I'm sure I feel like it's enough I feel like I barely have any branches left to decorate on here and I'm also adding gold tinsel which I'm sure I will regret at some point but I just love tinsel
The tree is done and now I'm working on the bathroom, which is always an afterthought of basically whatever's left over. I love making these little jars. They are just like so cute and whimsical to me. Everything is just stuff I've already had, mostly from Dollar Tree, including the lights. These little reindeers from Michael's years ago, but I did see Target carries them now. And then these bells from Dollar Tree as well. As you can see, I'm really loving the bow theme because I always love bows in general anyway, so I love that it's trending right now because they're always like some of my favorite pieces of decor. I love like a dress with a bow on it, bows for the girl's hair, bows on presents. I just love it, but I'm also very girly, so that could be why. Um, here I'm just kind of like messing to see what I can add here. I don't know if this looks good or bad, but at this point in my decorating, I'm like, we're just going to go with it. So I got a bunch of these twinkle lights from Walmart and they're so annoying because they get tangled so easily and they're so like long. There's such a large amount of them that it's almost impossible not to tangle them. Plus it's on a thin little wire, but it's worth it because I love just having lights all over the house. It's one of the first things that Ellis had when she came home. She's like, there's lights everywhere. You guys know that I absolutely love any type of like twinkle light or outdoor lights. It's just my favorite. Adding lights to the mantle. I'm also going to add some more bells, but you can see like our Christmas tree is decorated. I am going to put a clip of us decorating in right here, um, but it's just a crazy and fun. This morning we added more of those red and white balls that you see on the floor, so I don't have um, a picture or a video of that, but I'm thinking that I'm going to do like a little Christmas house short here on YouTube, uh, just of all the things that we've done so far. And next up we need to do upstairs the kids have their own Christmas trees and everything my goal is always to just have everything decorated before December 1st today I'm working on Everly's birthday party tomorrow is her actual fourth birthday and she's having a princess birthday brunch tomorrow at 11 so basically everything needs to be done tonight the kids have a half day I also have a birthday party to bring Ella to tonight so um, my main focus is on the birthday party and then once that's done I can focus on the upstairs Christmas decor. So now I'm just doing some overviews of the dining room. And then after the dining room, I'm going to go to the entryway table and then 
back to the living room. So I'm going to be quiet and let you enjoy that. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. When the bell on the door jingled once more, and then time almost came to a stop. But somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on, from this Christmas on. From So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that it was a nice little break from your day and a calm and relaxing video in the midst of the chaos of life. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next week with a get it all done as well as a princess party prep.